Welcome guys to my tutorial on how to set up a bucket server for Windows 8. As you can see, Windows 8. Pretty simple really. Alright, so the first thing you want to do for your setup server is find out whether you're on a 64-bit OS or a 32-bit OS. Easy way to do that is go to your library or file manager, whichever you want. So, you should take to this. Computer, highlight over computer, right click and then go down to properties. Look for system, it should be on the top. and down a little bit it should say system type 64-bit OS so that's me I'm on 64-bit if, if it says 32-bit I will tell you what to download because there's a bit in this where you have to download a 60 there's the one for a 64-bit and one for a 32-bit all right so you can close that now all right, so first thing you want to do is create a new folder on your desktop file it so simple so you can go in your server folder and just minimize that for now all right so the first thing you want to do is get the Java JRE. The link is in the description and it will take you to, we'll go back a page, it will take you to what looks like this. It should say accept the license agreement or decline, accept it. It's pretty simple. Right, this is the bit where I asked you if you're on 32 or 64. If you are on a 32-bit system, you want to get Windows x86 offline 30.25 meg, that's variable to change. And then it should say JRE 7U, whatever number, it might be 8U27 or something like that. Windows, and then it's got to be the .exe, so that one. Windows x86 offline if you are on a 32-bit system. If you're on a if you're on a 64-bit system like me, you want to be getting the Windows x64 31.61 megabyte one. And it should be the .exe one, not the tar.gz. That will not work. You want to be getting the .exe. So what I do is just download that, run it, install it, and uh, yeah, so you might want to pause the video here and do that bit quick. Right, the next thing you want to do is download Craft Bucket. Alright, so it will take you to this page. So what I download is, if there is a beta build, I recommend you get that over the development builds, okay? So get the beta build, if it's out, if not, again, get the development build. But with the development build and the beta build, please back up your worlds. If you don't, and you put it in the server and the server goes corrupt because it's a dodgy development build and you delete your and you lose your world for it i'm not held responsible for it you have been warned right but if there is a recommended get it and still back up your worlds just to be on the safe side all right so at the moment i'm on 1.6.2 at the moment there is no recommended build for 1.6.2 so i'm going to get the next best one which is the beta build but you might be on, when you're watching this, it could be 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 3.0, 41.7 .7 version of Minecraft. So, it doesn't really matter what version of Minecraft you're on, just make sure you get the build that's for your Minecraft. So, as you can see, beta build. So, what you can do is just hit that button there, or that one, if it's only that one. So, I'm going to get the beta. So, what you can do is just hit save. And if you're on the development build, it might look a bit different when you're saving it, you'll have a lot more numbers. Alright. So once you've got that downloaded, it should look a bit like this on your desktop. It should say Craft Bucket 1. or 3. or whatever version of Minecraft you're on, and then R O.2, which is like revision point two or revision point one. Um, so it might say some other things like some other extra numbers, it might not. Alright, so what we're gonna do is just rename it, right click, rename, you want to just name it to Craft Bucket. That's it. Craft bucket, nothing else. So once you go named craft bucket, drag it and drop it into your server folder. So now in your server folder, you should have craft bucket. The next thing you want to do is right click in the folder new text document. You don't need to name it because you're going to delete it afterwards. Okay, so what you need to do is open the text document. Your next next step is to go to this website here. It's called setting up server bucket in the description. They're all being order whichever is shown up in the video you want to get the one that says windows what I just do is right click copy that and paste it into the text document right now this is the important step file save as not save save as and you want to name it something and you can name it anything as long as it's got the following things server it must have this bit. It must have the dot bat. If it does not have the dot bat, it will not work. You can name it cake. You can name it lie. You can name it help. You can name it the cake is a lie. Dot bat. But as long as it's got the dot bat, it all works. So you could doesn't have to be necessary server. It can be tree. It can be name. Whatever it be. 
just as long as the dot that is at the end. Then what you want to do is just hit save. Okay, so now you should see a new little thing pop up on your server called server or whatever you've named it. Should have like little cogs, little boxes, a little cog and a big cog. So now what you do is just close that. The text document you can delete. Alright, now you want to get all the folders in your server. So what you do is run the server.bat that you just created or whatever you just named it and just run it. Double click on it. Alright, now it should, it should just say some things like warning, server failed, could not find server properties, error, error, you know, information, it's not here. Um, a few other things. So just ignore it. As long as it says done at the end, once it's loaded everything up, you should see that you have a lot of stuff in your world now. You should have a world or something like that. Alright, so what you're going to do is just stop the server a second. Right, now this is where you can do... A lot more with your server. If you have a custom world, say the name is world, the name of the world is Steve. So hold on, if I just copy this and right click, name it Steve. Okay, Steve. That's my world. I want to use it on my server, but I don't know how to. So what I'm gonna do is right click the server properties, server dot properties, open with more options, Notepad. Open it with Notepad. Simple. And then what you're going to do is find the world name, level name, world, and call it. Steve, or whatever your server name is, and this this area here allows you to edit what you want. So the message of the day, I'll show you that afterwards, is this. I'm just going to call it this is the message of the day. Uh, view distance, so see what you want to advertise. Do you want structures? Do you want monsters? How many players do you want? In? I'm going to go for five, so you know I've changed it. Game mode, zero is survival. One is uh, one is a creative. Difficulty. It ranges between. I think it's zero is e zero is people, one's easy, two's normal, three's hard, and I think no hardcore's there now. PvP. Do you want people to hit people? Online mode. True. If you're a crack server, you want to put that false, and you want to edit the dot bar and get rid of the bit where it says dash true o. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, Snooper enabled, I know they'll just disable that. Uh, animals, do you want animals in the server? Is it a whitelist? You only want specific people to join. Max build height, you can change that. Server IP. Alright, you do not want to touch this unless you have Hamachi. If you have Hamachi, you put your Hamachi IP there. If not, if you port forwarded, do not touch that. Next is force game mode. I don't know what that actually does, but I assume it just forces a game mode on someone. Uh, level seed. So if you want a custom seed like the Kick is Alive or something like that. And all the extra like level type default. I think if you put super flat there. You'd have to go onto the actual wiki and have a look at this. Server port. So that's the port these servers are going to run on. So if you have a custom port like 25566. Then when you give people your IP you've got a port 25566 at the end of it. If you leave it at 25, 255.65 you don't have to. I know it's odd. Enable flight. Do you want people to fly? Query. Leave that as false. Level name, I've already told you about that. And do you want the nether? Alright, so we're just going to hit save on that. So now when I run the server, it will load up the world Steve. This one here. Steve, and it will also create a nether and an end for it if it doesn't have one already. Alright, now to prove that the server is actually up, and I'm not just like showing you some random console thing here. I'm just going to play a second. Logging, as you can see, Minecraft multiplayer. And that is the message of the day, which is typed in before. And that is the server. Join it. As you can see, it's logged my entry. Zap2K8, my name, as logged in with entry 402. Okay, and so now, if I say hello again, friend of a friend, someone should hopefully get that reference. It's also a song from a uh, film. As you can see, it comes up in the console. So, that is really it guys for this tutorial. If it did help you and you did manage to get a server set up then please drop a like and share it with your friends because it helps a lot. So thank you for watching and I really do hope this tutorial has helped you.